Now let's install Windows 10, which will be our first client operating system. So right click on the host machine and click new virtual machine. And let's specify the name as C1 Win 10, which stands for a client one and it's a Windows 10 machine. Like we did last time, let's store the VM in a different location, which is C VMs. And click next. Let's pick generation one. We can allocate two gigs of RAM for the client system as well and uncheck the dynamic memory. Let's connect to the private network so the Windows 2012 server can communicate with the Windows 10 system. Click next. We can use 20 gigs like before. We can also change the hard disk location. Click next. And now we have to point to the ISO location for Windows 10. So I don't have it in this location. Let me find out where I stored it. So I, I stored it in a different location. So let's pick that ISO image and click next and finish this. So now the configuration is done. Let's now install the operating system. So like we did last time, right click on the client and click connect and press the start button. I'm going to go to full screen so I can see all the buttons. So click on next, click install now. So for now, I think you can get by without a product key. I'm going to install the Windows 10 Professional Edition. Accept the license as usual. Custom. So if you think about it, uh, the process is pretty similar for a server and a client workstation. So this is going to take some time. I'm going to pause the video I will, and I will return as soon as it requires any user input. So this is the first screen I get after restart. So you can use the express settings. I'm going to use my name and give it a good password. Click next. So now you have a fully functioning Windows 10 client installed in the same network as the Windows 2012 server. Let's do one more thing and uh, we will change the name of the host so it is easy for us to find. So in order to change the name of the Windows 10 client, just do this, right click on this PC Go to properties and um, so right now it is named 
something very cryptic so let's give it the same name like c1 win 10 so client 1 windows 10 and click uh, currently it's part of the work group so once we promote our windows 2012 server to a domain controller we will join it to the domain so you will have to restart the machine after you change the host name but after restarting so let's go to the command prompt type host name and it says c1 win 10 so we are done with the windows 10 installation in the next section we will look at how to install windows 7 client